Hey Turk, so we getting started soon? Hey there Sam, actually I think we're getting started right now. We got a plan. That's cool. Who's going to kick things off? I don't see any teachers around. You're in luck today. It's just us youth leaders. Me, Kat, and Bram are going to make it a great day. You guys are in charge? But we're almost the same age. Almost, but we're the SRT, the Salvation Response Team. And we do a lot of projects around here. When Vacation Bible School came up, we really wanted the chance to make it real for the kids we know from church. So we asked if we could take the lead. And Captain Ford said yes. So just like that, you guys get to be leaders? You okay, Sam? I'm fine. You know, just wondering how you get to be such a favorite around here. A favorite? Yeah, like how you get to do all the cool stuff and make a plan while the rest of us just have to be followers. You follow people all the time. You know that, right? You're on the basketball team, you follow the team captain. At school, you follow the student council. Yeah, and nobody makes me a leader there either. Every time I try, someone else gets picked. It's hard to feel kind of passed over, huh? I don't know. I mean, whatever. No, I get it. We all wish people would listen to our ideas sometimes. I just, you know, I wish people would see I'm just as good a leader as anyone else we know. I bet you are. But most of the time, it doesn't start like that. Looks to me like it starts with getting picked by a teacher. Nah, actually, that's like the third or fourth step. Sometimes even the tenth. What do you mean? Good leaders don't start out just wanting to be leaders. The best ones start out really caring about something. Caring enough to work for it without getting any credit. They work hard, and they do it for a while. And eventually people start relying on them. And in more time, people start following their lead. But they do eventually get to be leaders. Yeah, but when something's really important to you, just being the leader isn't the goal. Working for something you care about is the goal. And leadership is something that people give you when they see you've stuck it out. Is that what happened to you guys? Me, Kat, and Bram all came here in different ways. But the thing we all had in common was following Jesus. Leadership came a long time after. I didn't know about that. Well, it was the same way with Jesus' disciples, you know? None of them set out to be leaders from the beginning. In fact, they did the exact opposite. They just wanted to follow Jesus wherever he went and wherever he sent them. But then, after Jesus had gone back to heaven, those are the guys that built the church. But following Jesus was what it took. I get it. I'm sorry I got a bit of an attitude. It's okay. You want to help me get all the kids sitting in a circle? We got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure.